New at 530, Georgia's attorney general will not investigate a state contract that rolled out a billion dollar program fraught with problems. That's right, a state audit found the state skirted the law when it limited who could bid on it. 11 Alive's Doug Richards live at the Capitol tonight with more on the call for the investigation and why it won't happen. Doug. Yeah, this was a program that was quickly launched uh, after or during the re-election campaign of 2022 in which Brian Kemp was re-elected. Democrats asked that it be investigated. Uh, today, the attorney general said no thanks. We received ours in the fall of 2022. Cody Tran says he and his mother got virtual cards bearing the name of Governor Brian Kemp valued at $350 as part of a program to distribute federal money at the tail end of the pandemic. But he says the cards never worked. We tried it at various other places too. We tried mm -hmm. it on, at online retailers, at other grocery stores, other chains, even local chains and even restaurants, nothing. We heard the same stories from other recipients in 2022. This is Governor Brian Kemp. Kemp announced the program just weeks before early voting started in his reelection campaign. A state audit released earlier this year said that the state solicited contracts from hand-picked companies, even though state law required the state to publish a request for proposals so anybody could bid on it. The state gave the contract to a company called Relevate, which posted a thank you photo afterward for the billion dollar contract. The state law requires that any contract for over 100,000 go through the mandated procurement process. This contract was 10,000 times bigger than that, and a contract was awarded in only seven days. Democrat Elena Parent was among those calling for Attorney General Chris Carr to launch a criminal investigation, but Carr declined. A spokeswoman telling us the audit report doesn't call for any criminal investigation. 350 is a lot of money, especially if you're a low income family. That's groceries for a month and a half. Tran, a son of an immigrant and who works for a Democratic senator, says the program has frustrated his family for nearly two years. I can show you to this day, the money is still sitting there dormant and unused. All right, so Doug, the attorney general says he's not going to investigate. What happens next? Well, it is possible that the GBI could investigate. We've asked them that. The Democrats have said if the attorney general is not going to do it, it would logically fall into the hands of the GBI, maybe local prosecutors. Maybe it just goes quietly away. Yeah, a lot of maybes. We'll see. Doug, thank you.